Hey YouTube, Repo Man 64. We're putting a video together. Myself, Will from Worship and Watch, and Jay Justified from Jared from Jay Justified. Each of us, I believe, have three different ways to get to August 22nd. In there, I'm going to be able to show you how Enoch shows the head of the year. My apologies. Enoch shows the head of the year in, in uh, September 25th. But God told Moses, this will be the head of the year for you now. The new head of the year, which Enoch uses the Equilux, is March 17th. Everything we read in the Bible has everything to do with March 17th as being the head of the year. All of the dates, except for one. That one is Noah's Flood, because Noah's Flood happened before Moses changed the law. Everything else spoken of is on that other timeline, March 17th. So we count March 17th. We know Enoch says there's 364 days in a year. We count forward half of 364, which comes to 182. And you land on September 15th. Just as in the days of Noah were, so shall, uh, it's really bouncy, so shall the Son of Man uh, be. I'm paraphrasing. So we're to look at Noah, and we're to look at Lot. Jesus said that. What do we see when we look at Noah? Well, if the year started 182 days after March 17th, the year started on September the 15th. If you count forward, because God said in the second month and the 17th day is when the flood waters broke loose. If you count forward, you land squarely on Halloween, the day of the dead. Pretty fitting if you ask me. Um, that it's that day. Then we have the story of Methuselah. Methuselah does not want to be counted with the unrighteous, with the wicked. And we have this seven day period that we just can't quite put our finger on. Why did Noah, why did God say in seven days I'm going to flood the earth? What was that seven days for? It was Methuselah. He died. God gave Methuselah seven days so that there was no confusion, that he had nothing to do with the wicked. That line of patriarchs from Adam all the way to Noah was secure. Lamech died at the age of 777. God is pointing at seven three times. Seven, seven, seven. Pay attention to seven. So I look at that and I'm like, 70. That's how I come back to August 22nd. Seven days from today. Seven, day to, seven days from today, I, w I, I think that we, well, I know that we are 70 days from October the 31st. And I'm going to lay all this out. Uh, Jay Justified and uh, Will are going to help me show it all out on a board so we can understand it or in, in his little in his uh calendar program that he has and we're going to explain it all i'm just doing a short video to prepare you uh we're going to make this video probably tomorrow sometime i don't know when and uh jared's working on i think he said he's working on his calendar to get it all lined up we are not in the tribulation yet. This is not the tribulation yet. People are talking that we're three and a half years in. No, we are not in any kind of tribulation yet. We are in birth pangs. There's a difference. The Bible specifically speaks of two events. We're in birth pangs. Then we go into tribulation for three and a half years. Then we go into great tribulation for three and a half years. For a total of seven years of tribulation. That will kick off when the restrainer is removed. Uh, who was it that just looked that up? I think it was Aaron over at God a minute just uh, looked that up and found out that the restrainer means bride which floored me 
So uh, go look at Aaron's last video. He's, it's the one where he's got the, the uh, triangles on there uh, showing the different, uh, uh, I like the way he did it. It shows, it shows all the different uh, feast days and stuff throughout the year. And uh, so just a quick video. Um, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. And we'll, we'll put, try to put something together to show this. You know, it was funny. When I went to August 22nd, I was like, I wonder what time the sun goes down. Just dawned on me. It goes down at 717. You really can't make that up. Is the rapture? And I'm not saying it is. I get, <laughs> I get people in there saying, stop calling out dates. I'm not. These are high watch days. This is what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to be watching. We're supposed to try to figure this out. We're shaking that present, trying to understand. God has not told me that this is when it's going to happen. I think we're going to get a warning today because we're seven days before it. Or we're going to get a warning on the 19th when we're three days before it. But I believe we're going to get a warning. Something's going to tell us, tell the bride, not me, tell you. Revelations 3.3 3 is very clear. If you do not watch, you will not know the day or the hour when I will return. We're going to know the day and the hour. And then we're, it's going to be very abundantly clear to the bride who are watching. Everyone else is going to be like, just another event. It won't mean anything to, the, to them. To us, our hearts are going to start beating in our chest a thousand miles an hour when we see it. And it's coming. So just be ready. Uh, all right. Just a quick video. We'll uh, chat with you later when I get together with these two. Unless I find something else, then I'll come right back and tell you about it. Because that's what we do.